Here is a very interesting question. It's an application problem. I would like you to read it very carefully. Try to solve it. Stop the video meanwhile. And then look into my solution. Question 12. A line with parametric equation x equals to 10 plus 2s, y equals to 5 plus s, z equals to 2, where s belongs to real numbers, intersects a sphere with the equation x square plus y square plus z square equals to 9. At the point A and B, determine the coordinates of these points. So that is what you have to find. Okay? So try to solve it and then look into my solution. Okay? Now here is my solution. So when we say that this is the equation of the line and that is the equation of the sphere, then at point of intersection, all these x values, they should coincide, right? So they have some common point. So what we can do is, we can replace x square, x with this value, y with the parametric values given to us. And so we will do that. So we'll substitute 10 plus 2s for x in the equation of sphere, right? And then expand and simplify, and then solve for the variable s then we should be in a position to get the points A and B. So that's the strategy which we are going to follow. So x square, so we write the equation is x square plus y square plus z square equals to 9. So instead of x, we'll write 10 plus s. So we'll write 10 plus 2s. Whole square plus y is 5 plus s. 5 plus s whole square plus z is 2 square. So like 2 square equals to 9. Now let's expand it. So a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. So we are going to use that. So a square, 10 square is 100. Let me start from here. 100 plus 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 10 is 40. s plus 2s square, that means 4s square, right? And here we get 25 plus 2 times 5 is 10s plus s square and here we have 4 equals to 9. Now let's combine the like terms. So we got 4s square and s square is 5s square, 5s square about the s terms you got 10 40 and 10 which is 50 50 s and the numbers 100 125 129 129 we can bring 9 this side right minus 9 equals to 0 right now that's a quadratic equation in variable s we can always find the value of s okay so so we can simplify this and then we get 5s square plus 50s plus 129 minus 9 is 120 equals to 0. We can factor out 5 from here. And so we get s square plus 10s plus uh, 5 goes 2 times and 24. That's what it is. Now this equation, product of 24 sum of 10 6 times 4 is 24 and 6 plus 4 is 10 so we can write this as s plus 6 times x plus 4 equals to 0 and that gives us two sol solutions here right one is s equals to minus 6 and the other one is this is s other one is s equals to minus 4 correct now we have two solutions for s that means we have two points so let's find out what the points are so if i plug in s equals to minus six then what do i get s equals to minus six and then we find first set of points right so let's do that part so x will be equals to so we get a point which is 10 and if I put minus 6 here, I get minus 12. So I am substituting S as minus 6 to find the first set of point and let me call it A. Y is 5, 
minus 6 and z is 2. So I can write point A as 10 minus 2, 12 is minus 2, 5 minus 6 is minus 1 and z is 2. Now let's put s equals to minus 4 for the second set of points and find the second set of points. So we get 10 minus 4 times 2 is minus 8, 5 minus 4 and number 2. So point B for us is 10 minus 8 is 2, 5 minus 4 is 1 and this is 2. So these are our two points where the given equation will intersect the sphere. Okay. Okay, let's move on to the next question. 